Mariano, you don't need an introduction, but uh, you are somewhat new to Instagram, so we're gonna give some more context into some of your top posts on your Instagram feed. Ready to check them out? I'm ready, I'm ready. I was born ready, so let's do it. All right, first one, number one. You were hyping up the fans, huh? <laughs> <laughs> number one, man, I was working out. I had to face the old timers and I said, I have to be ready. So um, my song is like, you're that, you gotta do this. I said, okay, let's do it. And uh, it was good. Well, the I fans like heard it. the pop. <laughs> the still pop got was good. The pop was good. That one was good. Now, with Instagram, it's a great way to build your brand, but also raise awareness for foundations. And this is a great thing that you're doing right now. That one is amazing. The reason why I did that is because I want to bring awareness to the people that follow us to sell this t-shirt because this t-shirt is helping us to build a learning center here in New Rochelle. So that's why that's the reason why we do the video and that's uh, we're asking the whole world to help us out to buy the t-shirt because it's going for something special. So something is deep into my heart to build this for those boys and girls uh, less fortunate. We need to help them so I can be their voice in their mouth and their feet and their hands. So it's good, it's good. I'm excited because I know it's gonna happen. Now where can they go to get this t-shirt and also the design? That's awesome, who did it? Oh, the design was a girl in, uh, in Delaware. It's amazing, it says my whole story. Mm -hmm. From Puerto Camito, where I come from, to Panama, all the way to New York. You know, Yankee Stadium, pitching five championships, you know, end up in Cooperstown. That's amazing, that's yeah. amazing. And uh, you can get that at themarianorivera.foundation.org. Awesome, well you guys heard it right yeah. there, that's where you can you pick can it up. That. Yes, pick <laughs> it up at themarianorivera.foundation.org. Next one. Wow. You've been posting some throwbacks. <laughs> <laughs> As a young boy, man. I was, that was in my hometown. This picture was when uh, me and my father were fishing and you know, we were doing something for, I believe it was ESPN. They were doing some program and doing some documentary. So we were fishing and we had a great time, me and my dad and the other guys there with me. This one is special for me because show my whole history, you know, where I come from what I used to do and, you know, being next to my father, that's special. And we've even seen it on the back of baseball cards too, so this photo's been getting around. I know, this photo's been getting around, yeah. I, I have seen it, I have seen it in baseball cards and all that stuff, which is great, you know mm -hmm. I mean? It's good when companies take the picture like this and make it special because, to me, this is special. Mm -hmm. Now, is it somewhere inside this house right now? <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna walk around no, and find no, it? No, 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 you won't find it. But uh, definitely is somewhat something that I always, every time that I see it, I might. And how about this one? What was going oh, on here? Oh man, that's another <laughs> one, man. We went through the canal. You know, this is in the locks. The first lock of a set of locks in the canal, which is uh, Miraflores. And I was with some people from the canal. Okay. Uh, they were taking me to uh, do a tour and, and why not, you know, and uh, I have, a lot of fun with the guys, and I was just crossing the locks from one side to the other. Cool. And that's where this picture is. And uh, amazing. If you haven't visited Panama, now's your time to visit <laughs> Panama because this is something special. Now, how about the throwback Yankees uniform that you rocked at Fenway Park? I love that uniform. <laughs> I love it, man. I had the chance to pitch in that uniform, and uh, especially in Fenway, you know, I mean, using the uniform, you know, the way. Uh, the old timers use it and uh, you know, as the Yankee, you respect that. You respect the old timers, you respect the dynasty. And especially doing it in fame way, it's special. Mm. Would you like to see more of this on the baseball field? I love to see more of that on the baseball field. Yes, definitely, you know, something that we all should be proud of it. You know, work, I mean, they, those guys carry with dignity, like I said before. So it's time for us to go back a little bit and you can do the same. Cool, a few more. And you want to talk about oh, uniforms? Oh man, you got a nice I, little jockey uniform, huh? I was in <laughs> Saratoga about two weeks ago, I would say. Uh, before I went to uh, to Cooperstown, I went to Saratoga, man, and uh, they gave me a jockey uh, uniform. That was that was great. I mean, a lot of a lot of Yankee fans, and they treat me like a king there. It was good, man. It was good. I mean, I was in the uh, winner's circle right there, and I was giving the award to the winner. And then they present me that t-shirt, that, that shirt with that beautiful 42 number. And uh, 
man, I was laughing. It was it was a great moment. Love the excitement in your oh, face man, too. That's such a unique gift that I'm sure you're probably <laughs> just blown away. <laughs> yeah, it's a great moment. Great gift. Which you talk about the winner's circle. Here you are in there Saturday. Is. So you love horse racing. There is. I went there for a, a to event to raise money and all that stuff, you know, and then I had the opportunity to be there for the races. So yes, you know, was there. So you know why not? You know, let me let me check it out, let me see how it is, you know. I'm petrified about horses though. <laughs> I can't be near those things. I mean, beautiful, I admire them, but from far. Yeah. And as long as they five feet away from me, I'm okay with that. <laughs> they don't they can not kick me that far. You know, but man, those are beautiful animals. Beautiful animals. Now when I did this with Masahiro Tanaka, because he loves horses, like just in general in horse racing. I asked him if he had a horse, what would he name it? And he didn't necessarily have one on the spot, but if you had a horse and you could name it, what would it be? Big Brown. Big Brown, all right. Big Brown, Big Brown. You know why Big Brown? Because I like Secretary. Oh, I okay. watched that movie, I see, I can see that movie a thousand times, you know, and a hard horse like that and, and what he did is amazing. So I would name it Big Brown. <laughs> Big Brown, all right. Yes. <laughs> And here you are out in the golf course. Hey, man, I remember where it was this, but I know we were trying to hit that ball. It's not moving, and man, it's frustrating. That golf game is something that, uh, jeez, you gotta, you gotta take time and uh, wish that you hit that ball straight. Because it's amazing, though, it's challenging. To me, it's a challenging game. It's something that I wanted to do all over and over, and I don't have the time to do it, so. When I pick up the game a little bit, I'm, uh, I'm excited. So I'm going to get it. Especially yeah. on your Cooperstown town trips, too. When oh, you go to Cooperstown, man, I everybody there, golfs, yeah, right? I play there like three times. You know, even my wrist hurt a little bit because I was playing so much. But I like it, though. I enjoy it. You know, I'm, I wanted to, to enjoy myself, go just alone or go, go with my son. Just go and play golf and enjoy. Rivera oh, Avenue. Man, the Rivera <laughs> Avenue, right outside Yankee Stadium. What a day. What a day, man. That, that's great. You know, I remember that it was, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, right after I retired. Mm -hmm. And uh, me being unveiling the, uh, the main. <laughs> Can't ask for nothing better, man. I always say that, you know, I have to thank the good Lord for allowing me to receive all these honors. And, allow me to play for the best organization there is in baseball, period. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and for me to have my name on that avenue, right outside Yankee Stadium, man, is something that I will take for granted. Um, I always will be there, and hopefully it stay there. That's a picture that I will never forget. When you go to Yankee Stadium, do you make it a point to pass that, just kind of as a way to really kind of step back and think about how, like you just said, coming from Panama and then having Rivera Avenue. Just as a reminder. I have, you know? I have, yeah. Most of the time I go to the left when I come out of the parking lot, but sometimes I go to the right and go to the Rivera Avenue, is, you know, and they make a right. It is, it is good, it's refreshing that, I, you know, wow, you know, people do take in consideration the job that you do and what you did for the organization and for the community. So, I mean, for me, it's, it's a privilege and honor to have that and honor of my name and, uh, you know, and what we did. Very special. And you even got a chance to go to London through the game of baseball. There's your boy, Andy Pettit. Yes, that picture, <laughs> yeah. That was the first game in London, and uh, we seen history there, you know, and I was blessed that I have Andy um, with myself there, and I mean, and it was hot. <laughs> but at the same time, the stadium was rocking. I mean, I thought that I would never see something like that in, in London. Baseball in London, I never imagined. But here, you know, two great organizations playing in London. And before that, we have a great clinic, mm -hmm. baseball clinic for the Little League team there in London. And that was spectacular. Mm -hmm. I, was, I had so much fun with these people. These boys, boys and girls, they just wanted to learn the game of baseball. To me, that was fascinating, you know, and I was doing my best to teach them how to do it the right way. And as hot as it was too out there, like you said, no sweat stains. No, no sweat. You kept it cool. I kept it cool, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Next flight that you take, will you be flying out of gate B-42 because now you have one after you? <laughs> I definitely will be flying out of B-42 at Kennedy 
Delta Airlines. <laughs> amazing, you know, amazing organization, amazing people. We have a tremendous relationship, you know. Not only do they fly the New York Yankees all over, but me and my family use Delta because, I mean, the treatment, the organization, you know, the company, you know, to me, they're, they're more than, than business, more like family. So where's the next trip? <laughs> uh, I'm going to Israel. There you I'm go. to Israel. So that's our next trip. That'll be fun. And here is the last one. So entering the ninth inning, here you are. You got your own watch now. This is pretty sweet, man. Man, that's great, man. We came up with that idea because, I mean, I wanted to do something for the Hall of Fame. We got in touch with Hublot and they said, yeah, they were on board. And we did 42 pieces of watch and it was amazing. It was good. Beautiful watch. You know, we came out with that and they sold out. The minute before we put it on the thing, they were sold out. Wow. So that was great. Great, great, great response. People love it. And people want more watches of those. Just because, you know, what represents. It was amazing. That was amazing night. I think the people of Hublot did a tremendous job. And we all were happy. The details are amazing too. Check out that baseball amazing. right there. Amazing. The diamonds. Number 42. 42. Yeah. Damn. So how many Great. do you have? I have two. I have two. I have two. I have one for personal and then the other one we are doing a raffle. Because we want to raise cool. funds to build the learning center. So we took that and they give us they give us one to the foundation. And that's the one that we're doing a raffle. So we see all these posts. And it seems like you're doing a great job raising awareness for your foundation and also too filling in Yankees fans on what you're up to after retirement. What would you say is your favorite part about the platform? The favorite part about the platform is just give back. Mm -hmm. You know, you're seeing all those pictures, all those, all those photos, and everyone is saying something about giving back. You know, giving back to the community, giving back to those less fortunate, giving back because it's right. You know, I remember where I was 29 years ago in Panama, you know, and, and the Lord brought me to New York and, and gave me a platform that I can not take for granted. You know, I wanted to use it to the best, and that's what I'm using. That's what I'm doing. So, I mean, it's amazing that uh, when you give, and when you give with your heart, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing better than that. It's no money can, can compensate the satisfaction that you get when you give back from the heart. It's so genuine and it's great that now that you're in a position to give back and you were during your playing days too, so that leads me to the next question is, if it was around during your playing days, would you have wanted, say, a platform like Instagram or? I would have used a little bit, yes, because I mean, that gave me the, uh, the ability to reach to thousands of thousands of people, mm -hmm. to let them know how, what I'm doing and uh, if they can come aboard, you know, because it's not such a thing that you can do things alone. You need people that believe in you, people that care about you, people that want to help you. You know, and this is a, a tool that we can use to reach millions of people to help you. You know, there are people, there are good people out there that want to help you. They want to do the best for you. You know, that they, that they really, hey man, man, I wanted to be part of what you're doing, part of your dream. You know, why not? You know, so I mean, if I would have had this before, I mean, dunk on my head that I, I didn't do it before because I, this is a great tool, like I said, to reach people and tell them what you're doing. I would have done it. Well, that's what we're here for, to help out. So now's the time for the plug. Why should the fans out there follow you and what do you have to offer? Well, all the fans are watching, you know, listen up, help me out, help me out. I need your help, I cannot do this alone, you know. But with your help, you will help me make my 653 safe. And I have 652, but now with your help, we'll accomplish 653. You know, so again, thank you very much. God bless you all, and I love you.